Okay, welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about J.J. Redick defending John Morant um, after John Morant was caught on the live showing his gun. All right, um, I don't know. Maybe you've never seen the clip. All right, but here's the clip. Again, we can go into the backstory of the incident with uh, the teenager, Jaws claiming self-defense that the teenager threw the ball in his face. Uh, we can go into the incident at the mall when he yelled at his security guard. We can go into the incident uh, with the uh, Indiana Pacers traveling party. As far as we know, all of these things have been investigated and no law has been broken. I'm not condoning the behavior. I'm not saying there should be no punishment. There should be. There should be consequences. You are the face of the league. You are representing the NBA. You are a role model to young kids. All of that, I don't think half a season is the right answer. And the last point I want to make, because you bring this up, the, the, the guns on social media, when we talk about consequences. Look, in our country right now, gun culture is pervasive. It's pervasive. We've got mass shooting after mass shooting, and nobody's doing a damn thing about it. So why are we, why are we trying to lay down the hammer on a 23-year-old who didn't break a law? Explain that to me. So here you have J.J. Redick basically saying that John Morant is doing nothing wrong because what he's doing is not illegal, okay? But he's forgetting that um, John Morant was already suspended eight games, all right, for doing something similar to this, all right, um, which many people thought was actually a slap on the wrist, okay? He also is endorsed by um, many companies, including Nike, Gatorade, all right, um, and he's the face of these companies. And these companies don't want the face to be like, you know, a person who's displaying an image of gangsterism, thuggery, and so on. All right, so um, if he was a regular citizen, all right, and flashing his gun on Instagram live or whatever, then you can understand, you know, you could say he didn't do anything wrong. Um, you're allowed. It's it's an amendment, okay, I can't remember if it's the 5th or the 8th or whatever, but it's because I'm in Canada, all right? But it's you're allowed to brandish or to have possession of a gun in America. It's a right, all right, sure. So you can, you can flash it, you know, um, if you're just a regular citizen, but he is put in a different position because these companies have him as their face and, ha and they have him almost as a role model. They have him as, as an image that they want to, res to represent um, their company. So they don't want this kind of image representing their company. So somebody for somebody to give the advice that J.J. Redick gave to John Morant, um, it's just completely insane. You know, um, he's looking at it that he didn't break a law. Sure, he didn't break a law. But when it comes to being the face of the NBA, being the face of any organization that... Um, is you know as a business and wants people to see them you know in a positive light all right it does not make sense for you to depict yourself in a negative light all right listening to hip-hop and brandishing a gun on live with your friends all right and maybe and pulling the trigger and so on this is not something that is it's good so i don't know what got into JJ Redick, to this point, I, I doesn't seem like he's retracted this statement. I know a lot of times these guys just say something just for, you know, hype, just to get views and so on and so forth. It might not be their opinion because I haven't seen anybody else with this opinion that he didn't do anything. I, didn't, I haven't seen anybody else defend him. All right. Um, I can see if the NBA did not suspend him before, if nobody, if there was no backlash before. If it was something like that, if he was at a gun range or something like that, and we're just saying, okay, he's just there practicing and so on, because I've seen other other um, professional athletes, all right, at gun ranges and so on. But to have have this type of situation where you're in a car, and, and especially with his past, all right, where, you know, apparently some of his friends, you know, had a pointed a laser, um, a gun, or apparently a gun that had a laser or something like that at the Indiana Pacers, you know, and other various um, situations. He has a past. So this is not something where, you know, um, what he's doing is not related to any violent or potential violent situation. All right, so J.J. Redick really got this one wrong. 
and it's not a good look. We don't want J John Morant to have this image and portray this image to, you know, the community and, you know, the, the kids. And, um, you know, and, and also for his business side, because we, we want him to progress. We want him to be a billionaire. You know, we don't want him to, you know, be out the NBA. So why would you give this kind of advice? It's really puzzling to me. So until next time.